Hello students welcome to Dorong College e-learning platform today we are going to discuss the topic solving differential equation by reducing its order this topic is for the third semester nep students so for discussing solving differential equation by reducing its order we consider a differential equation of the form given that is d square y by dx square plus p function of x dy dx plus q function of x y equal to r constant function of x or you can write it as y double this plus p y this plus q y equal to r x this is called linear differential equation of second order and let us name it as equation 1 there are four methods present to solve the linear differential equation by reducing its order okay so first method is method of reduction of order so rule 1 at first we have to convert the given differential equation in the form 1 that is given that is y double this plus p y this plus q y equal to r x and then find the values of p q and r okay so in rule 1 we will convert the given differential equation to the form of equation 1 and then we will find the values of p q and r and we will proceed to rule 2 in rule 2 we have some conditions for p and q and if these conditions are satisfied then we will write down the corresponding part of the complementing function as given below okay so if the first condition that is 1 plus p by a plus q by a square equal to 0 if it is satisfied then you will write the complementary function part of complementary function as e to the power ax second 1 plus p plus q equal 0 then we will write u as e to the power x third if it is 1 minus p plus q equal 0 then you will write u equal to e to the power minus x okay next b in b if the uh, Condition m m minus 1 plus p m x plus q x square equal to 0. Then we will write the part of complementary function as x to the power n. And similarly the other two p plus q x equal to 0 and 2 plus 2 p x plus q x square equal to 0. Then we will write u equal to x square. Now in rule 3 we will assume that y equal to u v be the complete solution of given differential equation. Where v can be found by d square v by dx square plus bracket p plus 2 by u du by dx into dv by dx equal to r by u so we will assume that y equal to u v be the complete solution and we will find v by the given formula and then we will proceed to rule 4 in rule 4 we will put dv by dx equal to p and then differentiating it we will get d square v by dx square equal to dp by dx then by substituting it we get first order linear differential equation and solve it by the usual method that is finding the integrating factor and then the complete solution now in rule 5 we will put dv by dx equal to p and then integrate it then we get the value of b so in after that the complete solution will be obtained that is y equal to u b so we'll just do one example and all these rules will be cleared so these are the six rules for finding a differential equation by reducing its order that is method of reduction method one okay now let us try to understand this method by solving an example so that whatever doubt is there everything will be cleared while doing the problem so let us consider this example solve x y double this minus bracket 2x minus 1 bracket close y this plus bracket x minus 1 y equal 0 so first let us write the given differential equation so it is given that x y double this minus 2x minus 1 bracket y this my plus x minus 1 y equal to 0 so this is our given differential equation so according to the rule first we will convert this to the given form that is 
d square y by dx square plus pxy plus qy equal to rx okay so we will convert to that form so i will divide throughout by x and then the equation becomes this so let us name this as equation or not the given one let us name the converted equation to as name equation one now we will compare with the standard form of second order linear differential equation and then we will find p q and r so we will compare equation one with y double this plus p y this plus q y equal to r so by comparing with it we, what do we find we find that p is equal to minus of 2 minus 1 by x okay. so here p equal to minus 2 if you open the bracket then it becomes plus 1 by x and q is equal to what is q one minus one by x and r here r is equal to zero there is no any constant term in the right hand side so r is equal to zero so the first rule we have used the first rule we have converted the given differential equation to standard form of second order linear differential equation and then we have found out p q and r by comparing with it okay so here now let us check the conditions so here 1 plus p plus q is equal to what will give this is equal to 1 minus 2 plus 1 by x plus 1 q we have q 1 plus 1 minus 1 by x okay q is equal to 1 minus 1 by x so plus 1 minus 1 by x so plus 1 by x minus 1 by x is cancelled out and uh, 1 plus 1 2 2 minus 2 this is equal to 0 so we have got 1 plus p plus q equal to 0 okay. so if it is this then what will be the part of the complementary function so what was the rule let us check okay if 1 plus p plus q equal to 0 then the part of the complementary function is u equal to e to the power x so we have to consider u equal to e to the power x part of complementary function so therefore u equal to e to the power x is the part of complementary function it is a part of cf now we will proceed to rule 3 i suppose yeah so in rule 3 we will consider y equal to uv is the complete solution of the given differential equation y equal to u b b complete solution of the given equation then b can be defined by the formula d square b by dx square plus p plus uh, 2 by u du by dx whole bracket d v by dx d square v by dx square plus p plus 2 by u du by dx whole bracket d v by dx d v by dx is equal to r by u 
so b can be defined by this formula we have already discussed this in rule 3 yeah d square v by dx square plus p plus 2 by u du by dx into dv by dx equal to r by u now we will put the values of p and r here okay so the value of p was minus 2 minus 1 by x or if you open the bracket it is minus 2 plus 1 by x value of p minus 2 plus 1 by x and r is 0 here r is 0 so let us put the values plus 2 by u okay let us put the value of u also we have considered u equal to d power x since 1 plus p plus q equal to 0 then part of a complementary function will be d power x so let us substitute the value of u also so 2 by e to the power x into d dx of e to the power x into dv by dx equal to 0 since r is equal to 0 so equal to 0 yeah, you can put 0 by e to the power x that will be equal to 0 now let us simplify it further so after simplifying it we will get the equation as uh, d square b by dx square plus 1 by x dv by dx okay so here see the second term 2 by e to the power x into d dx of e to the power x here uh, differentiation of e to the power x will be e to the power x so 2 by e to the power x into e to the power x into the e to the power x so e to the power x e to the power x will get cancelled out so 1 by x dv by dx will remain so let me show you see 2 by e to the power x into d dx of e to the power x isn't it so d dx of e to the power x will be what e to the power x e to the power x and e to the power x e to the power x cancel out 2 will remain so and plus 2 and the beforehand there is also 1 minus 2 so plus 2 minus 2 cancel out 1 by x will remain and we will multiply it with dv by dx so the final equation will be after simplification it will be d square b by dx square plus 1 by x dv by dx equal to 0 now we will proceed to rule 4 okay what was there in rule 4 in rule 4 we put dv by dx equal to p okay dv by dx equal to p and uh, further differentiating it we will get d square b by dx square is equal to dp by dx so we will get d square b by dx square is equal to dp by dx so let us substitute here so what will the equation become the equation will become dp by dx plus 1 by x dv by dx means p 1 by x into p equal to 0 so this is a linear differential equation of first order so we were given a differential equation of second order and we have reduced it to first order so that's why it is called solving differential equation by reducing its order we have reduced the order of the given differential equation to linear differential equation that is first second order linear differential equation to first order linear differential equation okay so now we will just cross multiply it dp by p the p function we will write in one side and the other side we will write the x functions and then we will integrate both sides then integration of dp by d is log p and minus integration of dx by x is log x okay plus we will write in constant suppose say log c1 okay so log p is equal to log c1 by x okay we have write it and uh, we can cancel out 
log log we can cancel it out and then p equal to c1 by x okay now what we will have to do we can write here c1 is an arbitrary constant is any arbitrary constant okay c1 is any arbitrary constant so we have found out p equal to c1 by x so after this i think we have to put the value of p back again so what was p it was dv by dx so dv by dx is equal to c1 by x constant by x after this again we will cross multiply dv is equal to c1 dx by x okay c1 dx by x now again we will integrate it and we will find the value of v so integration dv equal to c1 integration dx by x it is v equal to c1 log x integration of dx by x is log x plus another constant we will consider c2 see it is c2 c2 is any arbitrary constant we are now almost in the last phase of the problem so we will proceed to rule 6 now now we can write the complete solution we have found out b we have also u and uh, we have considered our complete solution to be what y equal to uv hence the complete solution is y equal to uv and what was u u was the part of the complementary function so the part of the complementary function was what e to the power x so we have u equal to e to the power x so what was the complete solution y equal to uv and we have u equal to e to the power x and v we have found out c1 log x plus c2 so you can write it down our complete solution y equal to uv as y equal to e to the power x into c1 log x plus c2 where c1 and c2 are any arbitrary constants in this way the order of a differential equation is reduced and the solution is found out hope you have understood it thank you students